welcome students in your online computer class this is class 8 and as we are discussing chapter number 5 that is hyperlinks tables and hyperlinks in html this is part 2 in previous section in previous video we have discussed about the various uh, attributes of table tag and we have seen the programs of uh, table tag now in this chapter we will see the attributes of tr tag th tag and td tag so first attribute of this these tags are these tag align attribute second we will see bg color attribute row span and call span so dear students the first attribute this is the align attribute we can use this attribute with uh, tr tag with th tag and even with td tag with all these tags we can use align attribute this attribute is specify the horizontal alignment the horizontal alignment of the text within the cell value of the align attribute can be left right or center by default it is left means if you are not using align attribute with tr td or th then by default it will align the text to the left hand side one of the example is given here that is tr means you are using align attribute with the tr tag tr align equals to center so whatever the text you will write with the tr complete text will align in the center of cell horizontally so it will align the text in the horizontal cell horizontally it will align the text whether at the left right or the center by default align value is left clear students so the next attribute is bg color as we have used already bg color with body tag and even with the table tag so this attribute specifies the background color of a row or a data cell if you want to change the background color of a row or a data cell then you can use bg color attribute bg color with the help of this particular attribute you can specify the color name or the color code hexadecimal color code or the color name as i have given one of the example over here bg color equals to red means what i want to change the background color of this particular row as red color as red color so background color of this particular row will be red color now we will see one of the program over here this program is saying i have started the program with html you can see on the screen i have started with html then head tag then title i have changed the title as changing background and alignment and uh, title close head tag is closed now body tag is passed and in the body i have inserted one of the table whose border is thick Three pixels thick. Cell padding is ten pixels. Height is two hundred pixels, and width is three hundred pixels. And we've used one of the caption with it. I have used one of the caption. So caption will appear as the caption will appear as book and author's detail. Caption means you can say the name of the table, or you can say the heading of the table. and it will display just above the table just above the table so generally it is considered as that is name of the table clear okay? as you must have seen in your sst or science books there are so many tables to show the data and just above the table you have, you you have seen like heading table 1.1 3.2 like that that is what the table name same way here table name can be specified with the help of caption tag i have already discussed in the previous uh, uh, videos now we are going to insert one of the row so we have inserted tr tag over here and this row for the first row i want the background color as green 
so bg color green i have used here bg color attribute with tr tag clear so first rows background color will be green and there are two content are present books and author and after that tr second i have shown here the uh, demonstration of the align attribute tr means complete content of this particular row will be right aligned in the first row there is no alignment means text will be aligned to the left hand side which is by default and in the second row the text will be aligned to the right hand side and you can see in the third row we have used background color as green background color as green and one of the td because bg color is also available with the td tag so i have shown you here that is td and bg color equals to pink you, you may see this is td td and bg color equals to pink means one of the cells background color is pink and in other cell you can see here no bg color is specified means the rose bg color will be affected so align is center and this will be aligned for the default alignment default alignment means here it will show on the left hand side so here it is the output first row as i have written here that is bg color green and both the content are displayed without any alignment so they will display in the left side of the cell you can see background color is green and the no alignment that is why the content is appear on the left side of the cell now we will see second row second row we have set the alignment as right no background color so no background color and text is aligned to the right of the cell you can see the text is aligned to the right of the cell and the next one is background color green in the next background color is green so and uh, for the first td it is background color pink you can see this is the background color pink and text alignment is left which is default alignment in the second <clears throat> in the second we have used alignment as center no color is specified so which color will be effective the tr color will be effective tr color is green over here so you can see the green background color but the text is aligned to the center of the cell this is aligned to the center of the cell so this is this was an uh, example in front of you how you can use the alignment align attribute and the bg color attribute with a uh, with tr tag td tag and th tag clear students now the next attribute which is row span row span this attribute is specify the number of rows a data cell should span means if you want to increase the height you want to merge few of the cells then you can use if you want to merge few of the cells vertically vertically then you can use row span and this attribute is used with the td tag or the th tag as one of the example is here td row span equals to 3 so you can see one of the example i have used row span equals to 2 clear i have used row span equals to 2 so see i have shown the fiction with row span 2 and with the blue color so same thing you can see here the fiction is present over here where the row span is increased for two cells vertically two cells you can see the life of pi and this particular book and the next book is present in two different cells but both the cells are merged here vertically they are merged here so that row span is increased so that row span is increased the height of row is increased for that particular cell so to merge cells vertically we can use row span with the help of td tag or th tag another case here in this particular row for showing the mystery heading this one mystery again you can see Uh, the height of row is also increased so how we have increased it with the help of row span with the help of row span attribute so here we have used the row span attribute with td tag you can see here two cells are merged together to show one of the heading as 
two cells are merged vertically so we have used here row strand clear students now now the next topic is here call span call span means when you want to merge the cells horizontally you want to increase the width of a cell you want to increase the span of a column okay for a uh, particular cell horizontally not vertically horizontally so call span attribute is used to specify the number of columns a data cell should span you can say number of columns horizontally to be merged or a cell should span increase its width so this particular attribute is used to specify the number of columns a cell should span uh data cell should span this attribute can be used with the td tag and th tag one of the example is here td call span 3 td call span 3 means you want to span you want to merge three cells horizontally so that the span of a column will be will increase so you can see here i have used td call span 2 and i have shown here fiction so you can see there are two columns first book and second is author but these both columns are merged together so that the call span is uh, call span is increased here another way another at another place this is also call span to show the mystery i have written here to show the mystery you have merged two of the cell for the same purpose you have used which option that is the to increase the call span so this is the program to show these complete details now we can see this book and author detail this is the this is the name of the table or the heading of the table so you can show this heading with the help of which attribute which uh, uh, tag that is caption tag so caption tag is used to show this thing how you can change the background color of a cell with the help of bg color so this color is green here so you can see i have used tr bg color green to complete row for this row for the first row background color is green over here next <clears throat> we have shown the text okay and the next row when a new row is inserted here when a new row inserted then background color is blue so again we have used the bg color as blue bg color as blue i have used over here and call span the two cells horizontally merged together so that it has increased the column width so we have used here call span clear students now these are the normal rows again this mystery comes here where we want to show this heading by merging two of the cells horizontally so here we have used call span to bg color blue and this is align equals to center so text is aligned to the center text is aligned to the center and uh, your uh, text is aligned to the center and the background color is blue the background color is blue so all these all the text are here which you have seen so what are the text which are available with uh, tr or td tag so dear students there are four main attributes with tr td and th tr means a row table row th means the table heading and td means table data there are four attributes align attribute to align the text bg color to set the background color row span to increase the height of cell by merging two or more cells vertically by merging two or more cells vertically and uh, call span is used to increase the width by merging two or more cells horizontally by merging two or more cells horizontally that's why the call span increases that's why the call span increases so there are how many attributes four attributes first is align which is used to align the text within the cell and uh, second one is bg color bg color is used to, to Uh, set the background color of the text which you are going to display background color of the text 
which I am going to display within the cell of a table. Another one is row span to increase the row height. And how the row height will be increased? The row height will be increased. Row height, or you can say, you will merge two or more cells vertically. So that in that cell, the height will be look like increased. And the last one is what? Collis pen. You have seen the collis pen where we have merged few of the cells horizontally. Where we have merged few of the cells horizontally so that it looks like the collis pen is increased. So what we do in the collis pen? We merge few cells horizontally. We merge few cells horizontally so that the column width is increased. So here few of the examples are given. I have given uh, example for uh, align attribute, BG color attribute, join together. Next program I have shown you and the output is present in front of you for the row span and the next one is poly span. So you all will study these well. I'm uh, sending you the PDF also and uh, make the program accordingly. Clear? Yeah? And learn all these things, learn by practice, as we prepare more and more program, definitely you will learn all these things. Okay, students. So this is uh, all over. This is all over your class. And now we are going to, okay. Now we are going to end this session. So we will meet with the, in the next session with the next topic of the chapter that is Hyperlinks. That is very interesting chapter, students. So practice it well and stay safe, stay healthy. Bye, students.